Before the video starts, let me apologize for not having a video out yesterday. We are trying to get a video out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We had a couple of emergencies. I injured my back. She hurt her knee, and we mm -hmm. really didn't feel like doing a video and doing all that stuff. Uh, took some. We both took ibuprofen, and our back or hit back is still throbbing, and so yeah. is my knee. <laughs> uh, probably from lifting that god ginormous tire up. Be aware of that. That's the hardest yeah. job of doing that thing is lifting a spare tire back up. Anyways, on with the video. Hi, welcome to the 151 Garage. I'm Sean. I'm Jill. And she's not going to beat me today. So, you ordered a Bronco. So, you ordered a Bronco. What to do next? You got a confirmation email. Is there anything you could do besides annoy the living crap out of your dealership, which you really don't want to do that? No, you, your dealership's your friend. Even though they're not your friend. Uh, pretend that they are. Pretend that they are. Make believe they're your friend. So first off, you will get a confirmation email. Hopefully you'll get a confirmation email. And that right there will tell you whether your order is confirmed. There is a couple ways you can figure out whether your order is confirmed. Without that, you just need a couple items. You will need a reservation number. Reservation number. It's an eight which, digit number. It's an eight digit number that you'll get from your dealer. Uh, it's basically when you reserve the Bronco or order the Bronco, you get a reservation number and you'll also get a order number and that comes later on. I'll tell you about that. So if you do get a email, number. Oh. it'll have this and I'll actually show you reservation number underneath. So you get something along the lines of this with uh, order confirmed, scheduled build, built and shipped. So you'll get something like that and it'll, that's like pretty a, much it. Yeah, it's like a tracker. Yeah, it's pretty much it. It doesn't give you much information whatsoever. Uh, I mean, it's actually horrible. It doesn't give you any idea. It gives you a generic picture of what it is. Hopefully it's the vehicle that you ordered, if not, you're hoping that it is. That's a but, default picture. Yeah, it's a default picture. <laughs> so this right here is not the only one to go through. You can go and actually get a more in-depth printout or a picture of what's going on with your vehicle. And I'll go ahead and link the link down below. And what you will need is your reservation number. So that right there is something that you're gonna have to find out. It is a eight digit number. Ours was 1011 XX, 4X, XX. Yeah, four other digits. We're not gonna say the whole thing out of privacy for us and that way nobody knows what's going on with our vehicles because we don't either, so whatever. Um, <laughs> anyways, what you'll do is you'll hit the link below, the first link, and you'll add your reservation number. Follow the information underneath it to where you need to put your reservation number and that right there will show you exactly what's going on. This right here is more in depth. So first off, instead of four things, it's five. Ooh. But <laughs> go ahead and read them off for me because I am completely blind without my glasses. No. Oh. Configure vehicle, place order, in production, in progress, shipped and complete purchase. So that right there tells you a little bit more. Um, and what this page right here that goes beyond the the email that you get, it tells you what you got, basically like ours, the 2021 Bronco Badlands, and it also gives you a picture of the vehicle, just like the other one. It also gives you a date where, that it's been scheduled, when it gets scheduled. So on the side, right under the name, it gives you a couple other options, one of which is a scheduled build date. That right there is key because that will tell you what week your vehicle is being scheduled. And this comes out probably months before, a month or two before it actually gets scheduled. So you will kind of know. It will change. Uh, this one did actually. Our Bronco Badlands didn't, but this did so for the for, week after. Yeah, so for example, it says status below that. It says scheduled for production week of 12 6 21. Yeah. So that right there gives you the build week. Now, the thing with this, and I'll put it up above and I'll show you, or I'll put it up over the picture and I'll show you what it looks like. Uh, the next step 
is underneath that, and I won't scroll down through it, but below where it says details, that right there is customer details. It'll give you your name, your phone number, your email, your address. place of purchase, your address. It'll give you all the information Everything. that you gave. Yeah, it'll give you all the information that you gave to them to put in there. That right there, if you've never seen a if you've never seen an email from Ford, that right there will show you what email is in there. So that's a good product right there. Obviously, we've received emails, so it yeah. is so in there you, correctly. Yeah, if you get that far, to, again, double check your information. Make sure everything's spelled correctly, everything's accurate, and then you should be good. Yeah. And on top of this, below the customer details, it actually says vehicle details or something along that line. So I don't have the paper here, but it will tell you what your build is. So it will list all the options, whether you went from like R, say for instance, the Badland or the Black Diamonds. I won't go to the Badlands, there's too much shit to talk about with that one. But the, <laughs> the Black Diamonds, we opted for the mid package, we opted for the, the 2.7 and the automatic. And a soft top. It, and it, well, the soft top comes standard. So we went ahead and went with that and just those three different options. And it actually states everything that's in there. So you know if your bill's correct. So this right here is a good thing to check to see if that's exactly what you built. That way you don't have to go buy. My recommendation for that is take the sheet that you got from your dealership that you double checked when you sat side by side with the person that built it. Compare that to what's on this and make yeah. sure that it matches up. Because yeah. if you see an error, you'll see it then for sure. Yeah, but this is the one way to find out that nothing's changed. I checked it. It's exactly what it was. Uh, and this actually right here will tell you also built, shipped, and stuff like that underneath the other side. So it, it will tell you, give you a more accurate than a random email. This is something you can check on a daily basis. And he does. I check twice a day when I wake <laughs> up before I go to bed. So I'll just tell you right now, my vehicles are built. One's waiting for shipment. One's built waiting for, I guess, just quality control end of the week or something like that. Well, it's Friday. Yeah, so. watching feet. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so this right here is a good, good thing to look at. I actually have mine uh, hyperlinked up on top, like saved as bookmarks. That way I could just click on the bookmark and I'll update it every. Yeah three hours, hour, whatever. Now, what happens then? So say for instance, your build week comes up. Yay. Or you get you you get your, the week before build week or something like that. The next step is you can actually see the window sticker. And the window sticker is important because it actually tells you some key information on it. Something that I think is really interesting or devastating, depending on which way you think of it, so first off, I'll go ahead and link the, or I'll go ahead and put the window sticker up and I'll show you a couple different things. I'll zoom in and circle the first thing you want to look at. So after you get your build week, you can start looking at this. And when the window sticker pops up, you will see a blend number. So what the blend number is, is a blend date, which is when they put it in the line of all the other Broncos or all the other days, I mean. So that right there, if you look at ours, it actually states that it is 2021-1206. That is the date ours is built, not the week it is the date. Oh yeah, they do put the year, the month, and the day. What are yeah. they year? So that is the day it is built. So take for instance our Badlands. It was twelve, or sorry, it was a uh, eleven twenty nine week. So it was November 29th week that we were built. Ours was actually twenty twenty one twelve oh three. So it was built that Friday. Again, a Friday vehicle, and I have a Monday vehicle. So, anyways. If you go to the next section, I'll zoom in on the next thing. This right here is actually kind of interesting because it actually tells you where you are in, in the line. line of the Broncos themselves. Kind of like, you know, at a deli counter, you pick a number and you stand in line. It's one of them deals. So if you look at this one, 
ours was the 27th out of 2,000 some odd uh, numbers. 27th out of 2,363 built that day. So ours was... Way ahead. Hmm. Built... Yeah, ours was built pretty early. So that's how close ours was being built on the same day my Bronco Badlands was. Uh, just close. 28 people, I would have had it built the same day. It would have been the last one. They would have probably showed up with three tires and one windshield wiper. But, hey, I would have still had it. I couldn't bitch. <laughs> and one of those tires is on the back. So it would be two tires, angle. Who knows? I, the, I would hate to have the last vehicle done on Friday. It's just one of those ones where like, ah, eh, just throw the bolts in there. They'll find themselves. <laughs> kind of like how we build engines. I'm just kidding. We all do that. <laughs> hey, it's a Friday. We... Never mind. Nothing new after two is our motto. <laughs> what? You ever heard that? Nothing new after two? Two o'clock, we're done. No, but I'm going to start using that at work. <laughs> Nothing new after two. Try it at your work. See if it works. It doesn't really for us because I can't sit and stand sitting there for whatever. But so you got the window sticker. Your build date is there. Now you're waiting to see where it is and how it's built. What can you do then? There is one more step. And this is actually kind of an interesting step. It actually is one of those ones where you're just you'll check like multiple times a day. So we can go to, I believe it's Motorcraft or something like that. Again, I'll link it down below and it gives you a system check for your uh, Basically modules. Your yeah, your computer modules and the, the vehicle. So you have a PCM and a BCE modules. Yeah. And you're gonna see a lot of numbers mixed with letters, and that's just basically them testing all the modules to make sure that the systems are working correctly, everything is communicating, there's no miscommunication between different pieces. Like if you push a switch, the window's gonna go down. Like the correct window will go down. Yeah, it's making not, sure your computers are all talking together, update yeah, the computer and everything. Not like, hey, let's hit the left front window switch and the right rear goes down. Yeah. They just want to make sure everything's wired correctly. Now, the thing is, this isn't always going to be up. It's not going to be up unless your vehicle is built. And I'll show you yeah. the before picture that I have before my vehicle is built. And I'll show you exactly what you're looking for. So there's nothing there that's that's unusual other than it's blank. Obviously, it's not built yet. It's going to show a blank number, and it's going to show no information. Yeah, because nothing's working. <laughs> now, I'll show you the new picture of that it's actually live. That means your vehicle is live, it is built, it is being tested, whether it's quality or whether it's going through whatever, uh, being ready, prepared to shipment or whatever. But the next one shows you four rows of letters and numbers. So it's like alphanumeric combination, uh, four rows of numbers, and it goes on for Ever. And it's just them testing their equipment and stuff, uh, making sure the computers talk to each other, uh, make sure it talks to wherever it goes, making sure everything's accurate. That right there means your vehicle is built, mm -hmm. means it is live, means it is ready to go on to the next step. The next step is still wait, pretty much. Uh, but this right here tells you and gives you ammo that it is actually live. In fact, I've contacted my dealer and said, hey, you know, my vehicle's live. Uh, do you have any information on whatever? And they couldn't find out. Uh, they didn't have the information. It says it's, uh, my Badlands is waiting and my other one is still going through quality. Yeah, I and don't they think, asked. I don't think dealerships have access to this. I mean, they would actually have to find it like we yeah, did. They actually asked me, uh, how do you know? I was like, because I'm able to look at the computer. And they're like, what? <laughs> so I'm like, I'm able to access the computer and find out that my oh vehicle my God, is still... How did you do that? You're hacking my, in your own stuff. <laughs> my vehicle is still, uh, is still going, you know. I know that it's there, you know. And they're like, oh. Uh, and they're kind of confused. And I'm like... <laughs> Sorry, I got the information from somebody else. I did get this online oh, I love uh, through dealership. Bronco Nation. Thank you for whoever linked it on Bronco Nation. I yeah, can't remember who did you. it. Uh, we'll give you a shout out down below for whoever did it. And thank you very much. This right here has been keeping me entertained Same. for probably 
two weeks. Oh, Actually, yeah. Actually, three literally. weeks. You've Actually, been three weeks. a lot of fun with this. Every day I look and see, where's my car? Where's my car? I actually freaked out when I couldn't find it built forever. And all of a sudden, I clicked on it one more time to refresh. And I'm like, yes, it's built. It's live. I felt like the Frankenstein guy, you know. It's alive. But... You're like a freaking kid in a candy store. I tell you what, that's the most exciting. This right here of all is the most exciting news. That means it's it's Alive. built. <laughs> and it's you have no idea. And it's a testing phase. This. Wait until that fifth circle gets or the fourth circle gets done. This doesn't mean shit. It does, but it's not as it's exciting because it tells you that it's in there and you can do it. This right here tells you it's close to being built. This tells you when it's being built. This right here. Tells you that it's built. Tells you that it's built. Tells you it's getting close to time. Now, granted, of course, they're having troubles getting uh, cars to ship it down to Southern Florida. For God's sakes. Come on, I'll truck go, drivers, step I'll up. Go, I'll go pick it up right now. If they, if they tell me it's ready for pickup, I'll fly there tomorrow. I'll pick it up on drive that damn thing back and I'll fly back and go get my next one. Why not just take Beast all the way up with a long trailer and just haul do him down? You'd have to go buy a trailer. We're going to have to buy a trailer anyway mm, true. for her. She has feelings. I'm just saying I would rather have her on a trailer than drive her because I, I want to be alive. Susan, I love you, honey, but baby, you are a death trap. It's uh, my rat rod behind us, so yeah, she's a death trap. Most females are. I said you weren't going to abuse me this video. Well, I guess that's out the window. I have cat ears. <sighs> Cats have always try to kill. Oh, I forgot. Cats try to kill, kill their owners. Not that I'm your owner, but that's me. Anyways, so I hope this stuff helps you. I will link all the things down below and I will also tell you exactly what you need to install. So the numbers you'll need to get are your reservation number uh, yeah. for the first thing, your your VIN and your order. VIN and your order number. So for the second part. For the second part and your VIN number for, for the, the last third, part. For the module part. Yeah, for the module part. All you have to do is put in your VIN number and then put in the uh, the code they have on the bottom. It's just one of those, make sure you're not a computer Copy and thing like that. Wonderful thing. Um, also, the two numbers, the reservation number and your order number, you'll actually get from your, dealer. your dealership. The reservation number is a eight digit number. Your order number is a four, four digit number and it should be on your build sheet. Uh, That's the one that you get when you go to the dealership right and you sit side by side with your person and you make sure everything is correct before you leave, like I've been stressing. Yeah. So it years. should be on your build sheet uh, from the place. So say like a Ford and it'll give you your list of stuff like that. So that right there will have your order number on there. And your reservation number, or sorry, your your VIN number will be on your uh, one of your emails or one of your things. It'll give you a, a VIN number. So when you're issued a VIN number, it'll be on your sheets as well, and you'll have to go through that. So yeah. again, I hope this is helpful. It is very entertaining and frustrating, yeah. I kinda, because you're always waiting for the next step. But at least this way, it gives you something to look at. You know what this reminds me of? You're, you remind me of a kid, a little kid sitting at Christmas. And mom said, you can't open this gift until Christmas Day. And it's like two days before Christmas. And you're just like, exactly. Shaking the hell out of it. So whatever's in there it. is already broken. Just but mom, it's broken. It to see if you can sneak a peek. That's, it's, that's exactly what this is. It is. It's Christmas. It's pretty close. And I'm just sitting here watching the wreck. <laughs> but, you know, we hope this is helpful. We hope you like this. Uh, we hope you subscribe because the next steps that come up, we will keep you informed of what next steps there are and how you can alleviate any frustration or ass pain. Uh, that's the biggest thing. Now, 
hope you guys like the video. Hope you guys subscribe, hit the notification bell, and keep an eye on other things for our build and what's next. Again, we wanted to keep you guys informed of what's going on with our build. That way, we, you guys know what's going on with your build. We do. I believe we're going to end up picking both the vehicles up at the same time, so it's going to be very interesting. I, hope so. I mean, that'd be stupid to ship them separately, but. Well, they're all waiting for a vehicle to come down here. So again, we do live in Southern Florida. They are waiting for a train car to actually ship them down here. And then we'll go from there. I have no idea uh, when that's going to be, especially coming down here. There are short train cars and short drivers. So who knows? Oh yeah. Plus the winter weather up north. Plus the winter weather. And I keep forgetting it snows up there. Doesn't snow here very much. The yeah. license plates change color, but not the leaves. So, I did that in one of the other videos. <laughs> yeah, anyways, uh, hope you like this. Hope to see you next video and good luck on your build. And again, if anybody knows any other links, please leave it in the message below mm -hmm. and I'll go ahead and add that to the link as well. Uh, thank you and good luck. Keep our fingers crossed for you. Bye. Bye. Oh, God. Shows my age. Screw you. It's only 10 years older than me. Robbing the cradle one day. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You freaking, you geriatric robber. You, did you have eight track player? You get. You did, huh? I didn't. I had a cassette player. Okay, let's stop <laughs> this video now. <laughs>